Welcome to Culture Talk. I'm here today with biochemist and fellow comic book nerd, Fazal Rana. Faz, we're going to be talking about something very serious that women across the globe suffer from, and it is dealing with the man cold. Dealing with their men with the man cold. So you tell me that there is scientific evidence that it exists. It's not an urban legend. Mm. There's scientific evidence that the man <laughs> cold and the man flu are real things. Ugh. In fact, there was research done by a team at Johns Hopkins University headed up by a female principal investigator, so no conflict of interest, All right. <laughs> that provided the definitive evidence that the man cold and the man flu are real things. So what does that look like? What did they study and what did they find? Well, they actually took cells from the nasal cavities of men and women and they cultured them in Petri dishes and then they exposed those cells to viruses, the cold and the flu viruses. And they also added estrogen to both samples in some of the legs of the experiment. And what they discovered is that the cells taken from the noses of women were much more resistant to the viral infection and the estrogen offered a protective effect. For men, tragically, <laughs> there was no protective effect offered by estrogen and they actually were much more severely impacted by the viral infection. And so men suffer more severely from the cold and the flu than women do. So did you happen to share this data with your wife? I did, she was unimpressed by the study. <laughs> She just thinks I'm a whiny mess when I get a cold. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I hear that a lot from women. Um, so what else can you tell us about this discovery? And, and are you going to be using it for your own defense? <laughs> well, I've tried to use it to no avail. But the last time I had a pretty severe flu, my wife did give me some sympathy and made me homemade chicken noodle soup. Aww. So I'm actually thinking about faking the flu again just to get my wife to make another pot of chicken noodle soup because it was killer. But <laughs> in all seriousness, one of the things that this study does tell us is there actually is a scientifically established biological differences between men and women in the way that scripture teaches us that mm -hmm. humanity is binary. There's a male and there's a female. And there are differences between men and women that are evident even in studies like this. So would you say then that the next time you are suffering from a man cold, you can say that you are just uniquely reflecting the image of God? Is that what you're gonna use? I didn't think about that. But, oh no! But I'm going to. <laughs> Sorry, Amy. <laughs> it's all part of God's design. <laughs> all right, well, um, what are some of your favorite things then to do when you're suffering and ailing from uh, a man cold and clinging to your life? <laughs> Yeah, and, and clinging to my life, you know, and, and crying out to my Lord and Savior for mercy <laughs> is very much part of the experience. But once I start feeling a little bit on the mend, binge watching TV is, is a lot of fun to do. And there's a great excuse because, hey, I'm sick. What else am I going to do? You could, you know, open up your Bible or something or play, it up, play an app of Bible verses or hymns. <laughs> but I, I think when we look at the data... Um, one of the things that we can do is interpret it with our own worldview. So based on this data, then my worldview tells me that the conclusion is that women are, in fact, stronger than men. Well, That's you know, it. I can't argue with that. If I'm <laughs> going to use this data to argue that the man cold and the man flu is real, then I'm going to have to admit that at least when it comes to the cold and flu, women are tougher than men. Yes, I love it. You and God it designed you to be that way <laughs> so that you could take care of your man while he He's suffering from the flu at the same time Taking as Taking care of literally everything else, plus another child. So wonderful. Thank you, Fuzz, for that. <laughs> so if you want to hear more from Fuzz Rana, visit reasons.org and keyword search the cells design. You'll see all of his blogs. He has great scientific content and also a dash of humor.